Hello, and welcome to the Lions Report. I'm Jack Dolgen. And I'm Ben Green. Now, to give a brief background, this is going to be your Horace Mann Sports Center now and in the many months ahead. Horace Mann Varsity Soccer, coming off an Ivy League championship, look to continue that success in the playoffs with a match against Eunice in front of their home crowd on November 3rd. Uh, many supportive faculty and students came out, and let's see how they would fare. Now, in the past two years, Horace Mann lost in the first round, despite being heavy favorites. Once again this year, they were heavy favorites, and they faced Eunice in the first round. Would they prevail, or would they go home early? Let's find out. All right, so it's the first round, HM taking on Eunice. Now, early on in the game, we see a cross of Stephen Lipton, who nails it home to put HM up 1-0. Now, here, Coach Cunha trying to get in on the action, uh, although he doesn't realize he's not in high school anymore. And here we have a goal by Andrew Silverstein, still in the first half, to make it 2 to nothing HM. Also in the first half, the defense took care of business, as here they send the ball out of their zone. Second half, this time it's going to be Eunice with a chance to score, and they're going to nail it, put it home. That cuts the lead in half, making it 2-1, to one. HM still on top. Later, a couple minutes later, a free kick. A great ball, and it's put home again by Eunice, a valiant effort by Andrew Silverstein, but nonetheless, Eunice ties it up at 2-2. Everyone's moving in their seats a little bit there. HM opportunities, not a lot of opportunities, not able to put them home. See, a shot there, another one there, and just more and more shots. That one's going to be blocked, but a lot of opportunities for HM, unfortunately, none able to go in. Later again, this shot looks 3-2 HM, no. And you're going to have another one later on on a great ball to Bernie Rollins. Oh, he just misses it, and it goes to the Eunice goalkeeper. So a bunch of opportunities for HM, but... The game went to overtime. Now in the first part of overtime, corner kick deflected off an HM player, but it goes to the goalie. So close, but the game remained at two. And then in the second part of overtime... Bernie Rollins heads it home off of Toby Lee Cross, and HM went up, up 3-2. to two. A great cross, a great header, and after an Owen Elliott goal just a few minutes later, Horace Mann would go on to win 4-2, to two, sealing the deal in the first round as the crowd runs onto the field. Of course, for Eunice, heartbreak. After a thrilling 4-2 overtime win against Eunice, Horace Mann waits for their next opponent in the semifinals of the playoffs, their foe, the Collegiate Dutchman. Two times earlier, the teams played. One time, Horace Mann winning. The other time, the teams tying. But Collegiate missed some of their star players during the two games. Yet, during the playoffs, both teams were at full strength. Let's see how both teams would fare. All right, so this epic semifinal matchup, Horace Mann taking on Collegiate. Now, in the first few minutes, on a corner, Collegiate gets shot off, and Phil Pro cannot handle it properly, putting the Dutchman up 1-0. Now, several minutes later, Horace Mann has a shot that goes to the goal, but is blocked by a Collegiate defender who clears it. The game stayed 1-0. But Andrew Silverstein, the Horace Mann Jr., the center midfielder, takes a shot on a free kick 40 yards out. You will never see a better shot in your life. It hits the post and bounces in, upper 90. As his teammates run and try to catch up with him, the fans going nuts. What an amazing shot. As we'll take a better look, Andrew Silverstein and the Horace Man lines ecstatic. Once again, it hits the pipe and bounces in. He snipes it from 40 yards out. What precision. Again, you can see just how far away he is when he takes this shot. But... He stuns the Dutchman and the Lions. Here's one last replay, hitting the pipe, bouncing in. Second half, Collegiate now scoring a goal early on, putting them up 2-1. Collegiate would score three goals off the of corners in this game. And a couple minutes later, Collegiate would do it again. Another goal, this time putting them up 3-1. And Horace Mann clearly upset. Sorry, Stewie, rubbing your head is not going to help me. Later on in the half, Andrew Silverstein with a chance to cut the lead. He takes a free kick just over the crossbar. Nevertheless, a resilient Horace Mann team did not give up. Down 3-1, Edgar Legaspi put the Lions within one 
with around 15 minutes left in the game. However, after a collegiate Dutchman scored to make the game 4-2, Michael Chaum made the game 4-3 with a few minutes left. It was a fantastic finish coming down to the wire. HM had several opportunities left to tie the game. However, they did not. They lost 4-3, a true heartbreaker. Yes, it was a truly heartbreaking loss to a great season, though, for the Horace Mann Lions. A lot to build off of moving forward next year, but yet again, it was a tough loss, especially for those seniors. But moving forward, Horace Mann should look forward to next year, getting some young talent from the JV team and some of the young players on varsity this year. So there's a lot to look forward to in the Horace Mann soccer program in the next upcoming years. Also, it was the first time they won the Ivy League Championship since 2008, so they really have something to be proud of. That does it from the Lions Report. I'm Jack Dolgen. And I'm Ben Green. And this has been a Lions Report presentation. Look forward to our next upcoming presentation in a few weeks. We will be covering boys' varsity basketball. Thanks again. Thank you.